today I'll be going over some stocks that Warren Buffett just keeps buying more and more of. Um, why I think this video is important for like really any kind of investor is because, you know, regardless of whether or not you're actually invested or plan on to be invested in the stocks is honestly because uh, I, I constantly check what stocks he's like looking at, buying, things like that. I think just overall as an investor, considering he's probably like the best in the world right now and one of the richest people in the world and just really overall has like really great investing philosophies, things like that. I always think it's important to look at some of his stocks. But anyways, I got the Robinhood app pulled up right here, as you can see. And the first stock he owns and that I actually own as well, not all of the ones that I own and that he keeps buying more of is Apple. And that um, definitely makes a whole lot of sense why it's his largest investment and one that he keeps adding more on. And uh, a couple things about Apple. Uh, Apple's been doing very well of late, uh, as you can see right here. Very, you know, pretty high growth, but also the biggest stock in the world, over a one trillion dollar market cap now. And even with that huge market cap, they still actually have a relatively, you know, decent PE ratio. Nineteen is actually really good. They have a nice dividend yield. Pretty much everything across the board is pretty much um, thumbs up with Apple. There's very, very little things that could go wrong. I think. I think, um, in my opinion, they're pretty strong buy. It's my largest holding in my Robinhood portfolio and one that I would definitely feel confident, you know, having the largest holding in regardless. But um, Warren Buffett even says he owned 5% of the company, loved to own 100% of it. Um, it just makes a whole lot of sense with Apple, just all the way up from like CEO to fundamentals, to just everything across the board. Um, next stock that Warren Buffett owns quite a few shares of and one that I do not is this one right here. Not a stock I talk about at all. That's why I kind of wanted to make this video as well because it's stocks I don't talk about that many, that much, at least some of them. Um, this one right here, USB, US Bank Corp. If we look through how they've been performing so far, uh, they're not a whole lot of growth, not comparable to a stock like um, Apple or anything like that, but 13 PE ratio, very low. Dividend yield 2%, very nice dividend yield. As you can see with a lot of these stocks, uh, they're going to have very similar stats. It's not going to be surprising, you know, why he's owning them, things like that. But U.S. Bank Corp, um, pretty pretty solid company, honestly. One overall that I I don't own, I've never invested in or anything like that. But it is, uh, you know, it is one that I think is an important one to talk about. That I really don't talk about too much on my channel, but one. Buffett owns and likes a lot. Uh, next one on the list is this one right here, T uh, Teva, Teva, actually not 100% sure how to say that, um, pharmaceutical. If we look how they've performed, as you can see, five year, very bad, but if you bought on this dip right here, I remember they were talked about a lot, like during like late last year, a lot of people were saying, you know, buy now, you're on a huge dip, things like that. And if you did buy it then, you'd actually probably be doing pretty decent. And I think that's also a reason why Warren Buffett's adding more shares of them. Um, he added them somewhat recently, and uh, they have been doing a little bit better, as you can see, and no PE ratio on them. It's definitely a very, very risky move there, and one that uh, you know I'm not necessarily sure if a lot of people feel confident in investing in a pharmaceutical company like this. This one's definitely a lot more risky than his other ones. Uh, usually Warren Buffett's investments aren't risky at all. Um, they're usually pretty sound ones, but this one I definitely think is a lot riskier. Uh, anyways, next on the list is another one that I'm invested in is GM General Motors. Uh, I think uh, he owns them for a lot of the same reasons that I do. Uh, they have such a huge dividend yield. It, it makes sense with them. I think it's actually a little bit higher than this. They went Robin Hood States. It's at like 3.7 run right now. If we look at some other stats around them, uh, let's see how they've been performing, I guess. Not a very high growth stock. Actually, but on quite a recent dip, they're uh, probably at a pretty decent buying point right now. Uh, GM also, you know, people invest in companies like uh, Tesla and uh, other companies like that uh, because of, you know, autonomous uh, driving, things like that. And I think uh, GM is in the table for that. And I actually think GM is going to do pretty good in that field. And uh, even though there's not necessarily one car besides, I guess you could say Tesla that's at the top of that kind of stuff, I still think GM can actually do pretty decent. Next on the list is a couple of airline stocks. The first one is one that I actually have bought in the past before, which is Southwest Airlines. Uh, the problem with well, not the problem, I guess you could call it a problem, but the problem with stocks like this is they're very cyclical. They're very dependent on other industries. And I don't personally like investing in companies like that. But anyways, um, Southwest Airline, uh, very, you know, just a low cost airline, uh, one that uh, Buffett likes a lot, uh, US based, nine PE ratio is actually very, very low. Very low dividend yield on them, only at 0.73 or so. As you can see, I bought them uh, quite a while ago. 
Um, didn't do too well with them. Didn't really want to own airline stocks in my portfolio. But anyways, Southwest Airline, another one that Buffett owns. And the next stock on the list, another airline stock, this one right here. <coughs> Delta Airlines, once again, wouldn't really feel like I wouldn't want to get a position in airlines. I don't, you know, necessarily feel confident in stocks like that, but low PE ratio on them, pretty decent dividend yield, a little better than that. And um, I really don't like investing in, you know, like I, I don't think it would make sense investing in um, transportation like that, in my opinion, and not, not like uh, not like GM or car industry, but really don't invest in airlines. Uh, I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense to me, but if um, Buffett invests in it, it must make at least a little bit of sense. Um, next one is another financial company, which is Bank of New York Mellon. And this is one, once again, don't own any shares of them, but uh, definitely a stock that has some pretty solid financials around them, low PE ratio, pretty decent, decent dividend yield, and overall, um, I think it's actually like the top 10. It's one of his biggest holdings. I think it might be in the top 10 right now. And um, it has, he's been putting a lot of money into it. And it's actually a pretty decently valued company. Um, I just personally don't own, whoops, didn't mean to click out of that. I just personally don't own any of these two stocks. Like he's two financial stocks that he owns. I think you could actually put your money elsewhere in better companies than that, like Bank of America or Morgan Stanley or even PayPal. But I can definitely understand why someone like Warren Buffett wouldn't want to invest in those stocks and choose uh, financial stocks like these to invest in. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Just a short little one going over some stocks that Warren Buffett owns and talking about a little bit about my opinion on them. Honestly, out of that whole list, which like isn't really surprising, I think that he probably thinks it's the best stock as well. Definitely think Alphabet is the best stock. Um, a lot of people sort of, like, I guess you could say, critiqued Buffett for not investing in certain uh, tech stocks, even though like it's really hard to critique a guy like that. But uh, one critique of him is not investing in certain stocks like that, um, certain tech stocks. And Buffett made a huge play with Apple. And I mean, he makes like a ridiculous amount on Apple right now. Um, you know, it's a company that a lot of people like. There's a reason it's the biggest company in the world. Uh, you know, a lot of people when they ask for beginner stocks to own, um, a lot of times I just say, oh, just buy a bunch of Apple. Like if you have $1,000 to invest, I would definitely feel comfortable investing all that in Apple. My big position, a growth stock, as well as just a solid blue chip stock that I think is going to continue to do very, very well. But other than that, guys, that's really it for today. Uh, if you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. I talk about investing, the stock market, things like that. So if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff, definitely check it out. I'm just kind of like scrolling through the Robinhood app here. I do post videos, you know, showing all my shares on the Robinhood app, showing every single company I own. So if you're interested in that, I'll probably put the link to that in the description or something, or you just head under my channel and check out my portfolio videos where I go over my portfolio, talk about it, talk about some of the stocks I own, why I own them, things like that. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video.